what's a maybe a myth or a tool or an approach that just doesn't work or maybe never worked in the first place? I think gut instincts, relying on gut instincts to make decisions, important decisions. Uh, and I think if it's not necessarily, well, I guess it might be a human tactic. It, it's really to adopt a more strategic approach to the business. And I, I think if, if you ask, you know, a hundred business owners, how many of them really understand strategy? I think most will say they do, but I think when you really push them hard, very few know how to do it properly. And so in businesses, the strategy becomes a list of things to do. It's not a strategic plan. It's a to-do list and that's dangerous. So I think the tactic would be, and I think certainly the real value of any CMO or fractional CMO is to work very closely with the CEO, the CFO to build business strategy. The marketing strategy should be the business strategy because it's focused all around the customer. And really the CMO should be leading that process and get an input from the CEO, the CFO and the other functional leaders. But that's really where, you know, using the right strategic frameworks, doing the deep analysis of, you know, your internal business, your market, your customers, your competitors, letting the, the marketing expert lead that process and then giving the business the strategic choices of where to point the business and then to, to then focus their resources on the tactics. So that, that for me really is kind of the thing that I, I would change. I love that phrase that you threw in the middle there is like, if you're marketing to do, your marketing tasks become a to-do list, you've gone the wrong route, really. It's a strategy and it should be seen as something much more important than, than a simple to-do list. And yet I see time and time again, businesses just procrastinating on doing things that are on that marketing strategy because it's just one more thing that they need to do because it doesn't drive results now nah, doesn't drive results today and maybe not even tomorrow. Yeah. And that's really hard for somebody who's, who's desperate to get things moving to, to, to fully get on board with and appreciate. So it's, it's a constant battle. I get it. Um, but it's an, it's a, probably a whole other topic yeah, on its and, own. And, and that's where a, a lot of business. Yeah, no, businesses do get that wrong. And I think when, when a business is failing or struggling to get traction, the, the need, jerk reaction is we need to do more of something else and you, again businesses jump straight into the tactics they forget about the strategy they won't do the analysis of what's causing this problem and, and that's where you start seeing wasted effort everyone gets frustrated that's when you start laying people off that's when you stop the trading budget so really that that tactical approach at the, at the end of the day marketing is all about building a sustainable competitive advantage it's not about coloring in or making a pretty fault, you know, a pretty brand or anything like that. Real marketing is all about that competitive advantage. So once business owners and business leaders appreciate that and understand that, then they can have a, a much stronger relationship with their marketing professionals. Fantastic.